YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Oxygen Not Included Strategy and Tactics, Episode 3. So in our last episode, we uh, started laying the groundwork for our first, uh, our first project, our first build here. Our first uh, way of getting, uh, getting ourselves, uh, well, establishing and securing our food. Uh, but we could use a little bit more help. We've got four dupes. My goal actually is to get to six dupes and then pause the influx. Uh, because the six dupes you can get a lot done, and yet it is not too dire of a drain on your resources. So let us choose a duplicate. Um, no, uh, no backers at the moment, so we're just going to go with a uh, standard name dupe here. If you would like to uh, uh, adopt this dupe as your own, change their name to your own, uh, check out my Patreon page down below. All right, let's see what we've got here. Um, all right, a learning dupe. A learning dupe who's also got an interior decorator. God dang it, enough with the interior decorators! Ah! Uh, ooh, wow, stinky. Stinky the, uh, stinky the chef here would, uh, well, uh, Koopy Doop would be out of a job, essentially. Uh, we got a, uh, ooh, mouth breather. Mm. So, a uh, little tip here, um, prior to getting electrolyzers and getting your oxygen supply fully stabilized, mouth breathers are a death sentence. Avoid them at all costs. Once, once your oxygen supply has been well secured, yeah, go ahead, go for it, do it, you can do it. Uh, but besides that, mm, not so much. Okay, um, I think we're going to go with Nicola here. Um, I, I don't like the can't dig it, but now that we're at five dupes, um, there's enough other things to be done. And he's got the learning, which means we can uh, have him be our dedicated second researcher um, and get our research up there. And yes, a third artist. Um, and even though his decor quality uh, expectation is a bit higher, it's still not, um, it's not that bad. And he still is fine with minus two food, which is kind of the important threshold here. So, Nicola, welcome aboard, my friend. All right, Nicola is going to get art. He's going to get research. We can take the mummins off of research. Um, because mummins is, mummins is useful for other things at the moment. Um, construction two. Do we want him to build? Uh, sure. He can build. Why not? He can't dig, but he might as well build. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, we do need to get a, uh, uh, an extra bedroom up and running, uh, for Nicola here before the end of the day. I think, uh, we were planning on doing that right here. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to scrap that because I'm eventually going to put something useful there. Probably a big battery. Um, this needs to go here to complete the effect. We could build something here. There we go. And we can go digging. We'll get a lot of sand out of this. Oh yeah. Probably help if we do that as well. Okay, got that uh, taken care of. We're, we're burrowing our way over here. Um, and yeah, we're, I think we're working on... Uh, I think we're working on our... Um, uh, getting a, 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 our batteries up and running. Dude, get out of there, please. Yeah, you can poop out coal all you want. Just don't be there where I, when I rebuild that wall, please. All right, perfect. Now, that's a pretty neat trick there, so you know, just dig right through the wall there. Michael is deciding to eat in the CO2 pit. Uh, I really do need to get a dining room up for them, but we've got so many other things to prioritize. All right, we've got ourselves that bed, that extra bed going here. Um, one briar seed is available to us, so we will uh, we will put that there. Yeah, as soon as this battery gets researched, that's getting put in place here. Uh, 
Um, yeah, and then pretty soon we'll we'll be able to. Yeah, we're just waiting for. Yeah, they're they're gonna they're gonna do they're gonna finish up the bedroom uh, before uh, uh, before they finish anything else up. Um, so which is fine. Oh, one thing to take note of, um, if you are digging stuff, um, and if there is sand above your printing pod, make sure you have it covered uh, before you dig out tiles that would cause the sand to entomb it. The reason being, I mean, you can always un, un, un entomb your, uh, your printing pod here. That's not the problem. The problem is that uh, the moment it, it's entombed, it resets the timing counter uh, for, your, uh, for, your st um, for your next dupe. Uh, and in the very early game, that could be a problem. All right, looks like they are starting to uh, set that stuff up. Let me just make sure. Okay, good. It is power generation. Then we're gonna go to uh, then we're gonna go diving into fine dining. In the meantime, however, we are going to get sort of our baseline stuff set up for um, well, our bathroom. We are going to get a bathroom set up, plain and simple. Um, so what we want to do is we want to sort of pre-plan that area and start construction, even if we're not uh, necessarily um, going to be pressing it into service immediately. Uh, but a bathroom is, again, it's another duplex. Um, so one, uh, two on each side here. We'll probably have some art in the middle there. Um, and of course, we will be replacing these with proper tile. Oh, wait a minute. Derp, 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 derp. Got my forgot my my necessary space here, uh, which means we got to dig this out. Like I said, leave the wild plants unless they're in the way, or you need the seeds. Thank you. Okay, now let's try this. That goes there. Lavatory goes. Oh, the dupe. What? Are you kidding me? Did something take root? Two somethings took root. Hang on. I hate that you can't just build over plants the way that you can build over, well, other stuff. Because why, why, why do they got to occupy the thing there? There we go. That's better. Much better. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, we'll obviously want to dig this out and we'll add a few more tiles to the mix to make it a proper duplex. Um, and then, yeah, I think we'll be in business there. At least to get this part set up. Let me just hover over. All right, good. If uh, if some if you're ever worried about something being too far away from uh, uh, or too far deep into the water that your dupes can't get to it, um, the, you can hover over it, and if it's inaccessible, it will say inaccessible. Here, it does not say inaccessible, so we know that our dupes are willing to trod through all this water to eventually build this liquid pump. Um, all right, we've got uh, we got our batteries here, which means we can start work on fine dining, and we can finally build these damn batteries. Um, and actually, a couple of things uh, we have a bunch of projects we want to set up. So first, double battery there, another battery up here, um, but also um, let's see furniture, massage. There's a few other things that we've we've been sort of waiting on. Hmm. hmm. I might have actually put this fat ladder one one tile a bit further away than intended. That's okay. No, actually, no, this is good. This is good. All right, so what we're going to do, and here's the reason why I've been waiting for to build a, uh, a massage table. First off, actually, hang on. Uh, do we have any... 
We do have granite. Okay, so one one tip, and this is kind of the reason why I've been putting off uh, building any art objects. Well, besides the fact that I haven't researched it yet. But the reason why I'm kind of putting that off is um, you when you're building artsy things, besides the planters, planters are, are too early game to worry about granite. You want to build, make things out of granite. Now, one of the things we want with the massage table here is we want it to be made out of granite. And actually, now that I think about it, a battery up here is kind of a dumb idea. We're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, nix that and nix these. But that being said, we do want the massage table here. But the reason why I was waiting for our uh, research to kick in is um, our massage table is not something that and I made out of sandstone is not something that we we want on all the time. Ideally, our dupes are not going to need the massage table very much. Um, Oh, wait, did all of my sweep commands go away? I think they did. Hmm. Well, I'll have to reinstate them. Anyway, um... So, what we want to do is we want to hook... We want to hook it up to electricity, obviously, so it can, you know, actually do its thing. But we want it to, uh... We want to make sure that it is, uh... Um... It's it's not constantly drawing power and then it's not constantly weighing on the circuit in terms of the circuit being overloaded or not. Uh, so what we're going to do here, since uh, people can walk through this particular thing and, and still get its stuff, well, yeah, that's kind of out of the way. We, wa we want to put it away, sort of out of the way, but not so much out of the way that people can't get to it. Um... Actually, right over here might not be a bad uh, might not be a bad idea. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll run the electrical wires. Um, uh, well, since it's already going up, might as well go up the rest of the way. And since this is kind of low decor area, I'm gonna kind of break my rule on that. But what we're gonna do here is um, we'll come here, out, and around through the switch. Um, and then down here into this. That means the power to this massage table will be dependent on the status of that switch, uh, which means we can flip it on and off as needed. The other thing that we're going to be doing with these power switches is going to be a switch over here to our pump. Our pump, the way we're going to be designing it, is, does not need to be on 24-7. So um, the pump does need electricity, but it doesn't need constant. So we are going to run our electricity through a switch. Like so. That should keep them busy for a while. Now, I'm purposely not running the pipes down here to our shower and our lavatory yet, because if we ran the uh, if we ran the clean water to them first, um, dupes might uh, start using them. But if we don't have a place for the dirty water to go, it will just make a horrible, horrible mess. Uh, so we obviously want to avoid that. Uh, let's, um, let's dump and put, put out the raw mineral here, maybe the soil. There it goes. We just wanted to make sure that this thing, we had a nice pile for this, uh, for this, uh, this dude right here. Um, you know what? If I, if I were to, uh, get that, the hatch would drop all the way down there, and that would be actually a lot more useful of a place for that hatch. Uh, so, before the night, uh, expires, how close is that thing to... Next harvest in 7.1. Yeah, that thing's not going to be harvested again. So we'll mine that out and drop the hatch. And he's not going to attack anyone. Because, yeah, he's like, where the heck? What happened? All right, so now we've got a hatch, our, our, that upper hatch in a more useful location. All right, we got our electrical wiring here. Let's get uh, let's get some tiles here to clean that up a little bit. And for the moment, we're gonna turn this bad boy off. Um, and we got that. Well, there, that's not there. That's not uh, ready to go just yet. But yeah. All right, so now we got a double hatch down here, which works for me. 
Um, we are getting... Oh, crap. Crap. Oh, crap on a crap cracker. That's not good. Ooh, we need to shore that up. I don't, um... Get on that now! Now! This is, this is nine, right? Guys? Oh wait, they can't get to it. Shh. Hurry it up, guys. Hurry it up, guys. Come on, Michael. I don't care if you're all tired. Yeah, we're, we're turning red alert on until we get this thing settled. Because that would disrupt a whole crap ton of plans. People can eat and drink and poop and do their other duply things there. That, that should be good. Uh, Mummins. Phew. Uh, Mummins, Mummins, Mummins. Why? Oh, because you're standing atop there. Oh, you silly mummins. You can't, uh, you can't move to over here? Yes, you can. All right, I'm gonna have to micro him. Just to get him out from here. Move to down here. And then get the heck out of there. You know, I'm going to just cancel that build and then dig priority eight. Phew. Okay, now we can, now we're out of the woods. I didn't want him to get stuck or suffocate there. Now we can put our shower back. All right, that was a little, that was a little close for comfort. A little too close for comfort. Oh, is this thing, how's thing next harvest in 2.7 cycles? You know what? I'm not going to seal this, seal this off yet. Because uh, I'm eventually going to want to get to that. All right. Yeah, everyone's going to be working slow mode today. Thanks to our emergency uh, red alert there. But that was a red alert that I uh, do not regret calling. I didn't realize, yeah. Yeah, that was exerting more water pressure than I thought it would. This is what's keeping it alive, this, these, these, uh. And here, my friends, is the reason why we have two toilets. No, so if someone has to poop, um, they still have an open toilet to poop in. All right, we finished up, uh, we finished that up, uh, fine dining. Let us get ourselves some percolation. Our, uh. Our keystone tech here. All right, now for food, we have a couple of things here. So we've got two blossom seeds. Now, well, first off, with meal, we're going to be setting up a mealwood farm um, and a blossom farm with our two blossom seeds. Blossom seeds require a temperature between negative three degrees Celsius and positive three degrees Celsius. Hey, look at that! We got a little section right here, right next to the cold ice biome, that's like right on the borderline. So this is going to be where our, uh, where this this goes. Not to mention, we're about to be pumping clean water. They like to be uh, irrigated with clean water. So the idea is that we're going to irrigate our, our blossoms, um, 
our Bristol Blossoms here with the clean stuff over here and then send the rest of the clean water over here, filter it through the lavatory and the shower, and then send the dirty stuff down to a little bank through here. And between the two of those farms, we should be able to keep our, our uh, uh, a base of six dupes fed. Uh, that is the idea. So let us get this set up. But there's a, there's a little trick I got going here. Also, once this thing produces fruit, I will uproot it and add it to our farm here. Right now, it's too close to harvest. I, I'm, I'm going to want to... Uh, and it's just going to be a standard yield. But still, a standard yield is a standard yield. All right, so we're going to... You know, we want it nice and close here. So we're going to get these two over here. Um, get those over here. Uh, we will get um, get some tiles over here. Um, as far as our um, as our other thing here for uh, for our meal wood, we're going to um, basically make it like its own um, its own its own little its little own duplex here. Um, which means, yeah, we, we, we just happen to treat it like the floor. Um, yeah, so we're going to go. It's just that I'm going to be treating all eight tiles as that. And we will clear all of that out. And let them go at it. Now, yes, I know you're thinking, uh, Pinstar, what about the pipes? What about the pipes? Uh, well, we'll get to the pipes. We'll get to the pipes. Pipes, pipes. The pipes are going to be gotten to. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Now, there's going to be a little something I'm going to do here. Well, actually, we can just go. We can just pipe directly into here. And we can start running the pipes. Um... But there's going to be another. There's going to be another thing. There's a reason why I'm sort of holding off on the pipes. Besides waiting for the outputs to be built. Yeah, these two are going to town here. I think once we get percolation, well, part of me wants to to stop them from from doing all the percolation stuff, um, only because we need a lot more hands on deck here. Yeah, with all these people building up uh, all these, we should be in good shape. Yes, thank you for actually building that. Will somebody just dig those, please. Well, anyway, here's here's what we're going to be doing with our liquid pipe here, and the reason why I built the uh, this over here in this corner. As I mentioned in the last episode, mealwood likes its temperature a little bit colder than room temperature. Right now we're looking at an ambient temperature of 22.6. Mealwood likes it uh, between, uh, I'd say about 18 and 22. So right now we'd just be a, a hair off of uh, the ideal temperature. But we can do something about that. Um, we can do something that, with that by using radiant heat. Uh, or in this case, radiant cooling. You see, the water over here is almost 17 degrees Celsius, so it is colder than the air down here. If we snake a, a pipe full of cold water through the air here, it will chill the air. And consequently, uh, without using any kind of machinery or power or any malarkey like that, uh, prevent um, uh, uh, cool the air down to the temperature liked by our mealwoods. So that's what we're going to be doing here. We're actually going to take this clean, cold water. We're not going to we're not going to feed it in here because this thing likes dirty water. We're gonna we're gonna take it. We're gonna snake it. Take it and snake it. And then we'll plug it in to our respective uh, things here. Now, as far as our dirty water goes, um, we're gonna loop it around here. We'll take it to about the middle here. Um, and, uh, well, actually, yeah, we'll take it over here. Some of these might get a little bit more or less, but we're not, it's not a super exact science. 
And this is fine because people can move past where pipes are. So yeah, very large building project we've got here, but for a reason. And now that I actually let people sleep, um, we are starting to get the stress up, uh, stress levels up. I think uh, we got to finish this building project before I can, in good faith, uh, let uh, let people um, uh, start have have people start cleaning stuff up. But I think once we finish our next research, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, let everybody be working because that will cut down on the amount of uh, well everything needed here. A lot of digging needed. And we're not going to be building our, uh, we're not going to be building our stuff anyway, um, our, our electrolyzer until after this project is completed. How close are you? 1.7 cycles. Well, yeah, that's actually going to probably go away. Oh, would you just freaking build this, this, this middle part right here, please? Yeah, we are also running low on food, which is the other reason why I'm hustling. Um, I, what I may need to do is I might need to do what I didn't want to do and go into uh, mush bars here. We're not infinite making mush bars, but what we are doing is um, queuing up a bunch of them. I'm just going to put those two there just temporarily. Because, again, we need to get this project going. And, yeah, these things still need work on here as well. You haven't even finished the dam. Uh... Hey, a muckroot! Get the muckroot, guys! Yeah, right now, the reason why... I mean, mush bars are a good emergency um, food source. Um, when you're going to be a little bit short on, on time here, that's not a bad thing to get. And yes, I know, I you might be saying, Pinstar, why aren't you planting them? I want them to to get a good chance of getting their, their good... Um, the good quality right off the bat, and if we don't have polluted water going into them right from the get-go, then uh, they're going to be a little bit behind. And we have another dupe coming in incoming. Uh, we will we will invite them, uh, but we'll wait for the morning. But yeah, we need all the hands on deck we can get. But then after that, we got to stop because, as you can see, we are already taxing our uh, our food supply here. Uh, which is why I'm waiting for this thing to flower before I uproot it. And also, it doesn't help that all of this is being done in the CO2 cloud. Ooh! Blossom seed. That is a blossom seed. That is definitely a blossom seed right there. Um, uh, buildings, buildings, buildings. Yeah, because they, they can clear these other three here. Yeah, and that's not taking up electricity. Definitely want to prioritize these, though. Because um, I do want to get at that uh, those blossom seeds, because the sooner we can start those up, the better. Uh, in fact, we could probably... Yeah, get two more of those because I'm going to be digging that up. So we know we've got we've got a couple of uh, extra blossom seeds at the ready here. But it is unfortunately nighttime, and I'm not going to pull the emergency trigger here um, to wake them up just to keep doing here. Now, that was an emergency. This is not unfortunate. All right, folks, so um, we are almost to cycle uh, 10 here. 
Uh, we have almost got our first project complete here. I do anticipate it going, being fully up and running in the next cycle, especially with a sixth person helping us out. Um, after that, we turn our attention to uh, uh, oxygen production, uh, mainly because, well, um, our air's not running thin. We're, we're doing well. Uh, but if we take a look at our organic supplies, actually the algae is pretty good too. So we've got we've got time to get it set up. But a, getting a good solid um, electrolyzer set up going, and also getting the extra researches that come along with it, um, is going to be something that we're going to want to do to uh, take our time with, because uh, there's a few more techs we need to get uh, besides just percolation. Um, which we'll go into more depth uh, later on, but I'll queue it up now, pressure management. I'll show you how, how we're going to be utilizing that in our next episode. Uh, so if you like this episode and you wanna see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.